I'm Jennifer Caruso, and this evening we are here in Epcot at Space 220 for dinner. Um, we're celebrating a whole week of my oldest son, Nicky's birthday, and uh, tonight is going to be a birthday <laughs> celebration here for dinner. Now, we have been here before. Um, we've sat at the bar, we've had cocktails and appetizers, but this will be our first dinner experience. So, um, we'll show you a little bit of the food, the menu, and do a little review at the end. Here we have the lobby area where you check in for dinner. We're waiting, um, I believe, to get on an elevator over here. This is the elevator um, that is going to take us up to um, the launch.
just a view of uh, Space 220. Yeah, this is cool. I know, dude. I just love how, like, I was up here, I was at the bar, it just keeps changing, you know what I mean? What, uh... No, like, the picture out here, it would change. Oh. Yeah, earlier when we was walking in, was somebody carrying a space cake. Yeah. Yeah, you caught that deal, so I like it. That's so cool, though. Look at that. How, who is that? I know. Who's coming to our planet? Do they have uh, permission here? The dog. All right, Mike, uh, you've got a drink there that is, I don't Probably. know. Yeah, and there's, uh, oh, there's steam coming out. It's got space something. rum in it. It's the planetary <laughs> punch. What's it called? The planetary punch. Planetary it's got space rum in it. Space rum. Okay, let us know how that is. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's like you're on a space island. All right. You know, just hanging out. What do you have there, Nick? Moon rocks. Moon rocks. And let's see what you have in your hand. Pop rocks. Oh, okay. So they recommend you putting a little bit of those in your mouth and taking a sip of the drink. And let's see what that does. Space Let's some other stuff in there. It's pretty good. It's good for you. And I am very boring with just an iced tea and raw nuts water with lemon. She said don't pour them in the drink, but they're popping all out. They're all so over so the cool. table now. That is so cool. Yeah, man. I know. That was real. I've got dude, something going on up here. Dude, I would put rum in this. Dude. That's good. It's literally a space peanut water. Maybe <laughs> better. Yeah, it's interesting. That's pretty cool, though. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, all right, our appetizers arrived, and uh, Nikki got the burrata with the greens. Um, I got the same. Looks really good. Ron has the calamari, and that looks delicious. And Michael just has a bowl of greens, but they look so fresh. That looks like Grown at home on the space station. Grown on the space station. It was. Oh, wow. <laughs> that looks like a cargo vessel of some type, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Maybe carrying like food. Who knows? giggles here but the appetizers um, are all gone all right so how was the calamari Ooh, run it was awesome. yeah and, really and the burrata really and the artichokes were delicious Nick did you eat your artichokes you did I ate everything it was yeah stellar. it was all stellar, it was yeah. all stellar. and that stellar. that drink my cast is delicious it's really really good Nick's a little bit too sweet but he really likes it it tastes like cotton candy Space rum, yeah. It's really good. It tastes like something you'd get in the Bahamas, though. It's real coconut and rummy. Yeah. He's like, I'm
use a bubble like that. What are you doing? <laughs> stepped up to be in my best filet in Disney. It went above uh, the Beast, Beauty and the Beast Castle. Be our guest. Be our guest and castle. And we liked it better than La Cellier. Way better, yes. Yeah. So and it was my, the best. And Michael uh, had the duck. And um, Michael, did you like your duck? The duck was great. The duck was great. It was the best duck. There was only one better duck I've ever had, and it was in Vegas. But the duck was good. It was acceptable duck in space. <laughs> it was a good duck. a lot of no-shows and the reason is this isn't a Disney-owned 
restaurant. This is a privately owned restaurant, and people make their reservations here, and they forget about them. They make them 60 days out, and they forget. And this restaurant doesn't have any reminder system. So people are getting reminders about the reservations, so they're forgetting and not showing up. So there's a lot of open reservations. So don't hesitate um, if you don't have a reservation to come on up and try and cut one.